Welcome back. This is video 3 of 5 in our video series demonstrating how to install Envanti Endpoint Security on a combined application and database server. I'm Mark, technical writer with Avanti. This third video in the series is about SQL Server installation. Before you begin installation of Endpoint Security, you need an instance of SQL Server to store your Endpoint Security data. This video addresses how to obtain SQL Server and how to install and configure it. Our first step in this procedure is to download Microsoft SQL Server. You can purchase and download SQL Server from the Microsoft Store. See the link in the video description for more details. Once you've made your purchase, download the SQL installer from the server you've chosen to be your endpoint security server. Remember, this server is a combined database and application server. Once you have the installer downloaded, be sure you're logged in either as a domain admin or a local administrator. Kick off the installer. During installation, most of the default settings will work just fine. However, there are a few settings that you should select to support your endpoint security installation later. As a security best practice, select the Use Microsoft Update option to patch the server with available updates. From the Feature Selection screen, choose All Database Engine Services and All Management Tools. Write down the name of your SQL Server instance name. You'll need this later during Endpoint Security installation. Make sure you have the collation set to one of the values displayed on screen. These are the only two collation values supported for endpoint security. Add an administrative user. We're using Windows Authentication, but Mixed Mode is supported as well. Click Install to lay down the files. That's it. We're almost there, folks. We just need to open some firewall ports and install endpoint security. See you all in video 4 or 5. Bye.